קוראים לו שישה ימים. התוצאה אני אדלג, אני לגבי אוסף, זה לא כאילו בא כאן לנהל. ‫כי זה היה הראשון שהיה קורה. ‫לא היה קורה בכלל. ‫זה 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 היה קורה בכלל. When you think about it now, I mean, at the time you think, oh yeah, yeah. so what? Mm. It was just, just a normal thing at the time. Nobody thought it was going to go bang, bang, you know. Yeah. But, uh, and how did you get into music? Like drumming and that? I don't know. As far as I can remember it, It was just a big laugh at the time. Yeah. No, none of them took it seriously. Yeah. And um, the, uh, say, nobody took any much notice of it. We just got on with it. And just thought, kids having a laugh. Mm. That's all. We, we thought it was just a laugh. Mm. But uh, it wasn't. Yeah. And how did you get in? It was like the foremost and king size and Brian Epstein and everything. Well, like, then days though, it must have been like, like you said, wow. Yeah, but everyone's, the impression I, I got from all of them was, I suppose at the time, people were thinking, bloody hell, we've made it and all the rest of it. And, but, uh, Yeah, whatever happened, happened and that was it. People mm -hmm. accepted it. Yeah. But uh, whatever happened, I gave it on through. Oh. And like, with King Size, how did you get in with them? Or was it just moving from bands to bands? Mm, that's all it was. There was nothing serious about any of it. We just all having a laugh and everyone wants to take egg and mm. play the cabin and be no sisters and when you stood. Because mm. nobody thought it was gonna blow blow up the way it did. No. No. When you were in Sonny Webb and the Cascades, mm. obviously The members that you were with in that band obviously <coughs> just became the hillsiders. <coughs> But how did you just all meet? Like from Sunny Web and the Hillsiders, how did you just all get together? And like, all right, we're all gonna stick together now as a band, we're not gonna keep moving to band to band. No, it wasn't like that at all. No. I, I, as far as I can remember, it was just well, I've been having a good time, having a laugh. Hmm. Uh, There was no such thing as we lit the big time or anything like that. None of that. <clears throat> But uh, thinking back now, it's it, it's completely different. Because you, you think, bloody hell, we were the only ones that did this or did that. And, uh, mm. But it all stems from the Beatles. That's they originated a lot of things. Yeah. <coughs> yeah that's But true. I suppose even the Beatles thought, so what like you know, Yeah. We're just a band. Get on with it. Yeah. Oh well, there's nothing uh And you kinda of remember that night when um with John and Paul and Bill Hatton and Mike Millwall and you said, do you kind of remember that Christmas too at the cavern? Vaguely. Mm. But, uh, I wouldn't have missed it. Wouldn't have missed that. No way. No. I think a lot of others would have felt the same.
Mm. But at the time, it was just, so what, you know, get on with it. There was no, yeah, yeah, we're in the big time now. Mm. There's none of that. No. No. But, I bet you never, I bet, like you said, <coughs> at the time, I bet you never thought it'd still be living no. today. No, no, nobody like did. 60, 70 years later. Nobody did. Nobody, every one of them got a shock. Hmm. Or would have had. What was that story you told me when, I think you were in the cavern and the Beatles went on. And all the girls were screaming a song because of a leather jacket. What was that story? Oh, well, that was um, um, our bass player. Hmm. Um, we were in the cabin hmm. and we were in the dressing room. And in the dressing room, it was, it was long. You were in the dressing room and then you look onto the stage which looked out to the, all the people. And uh, one of our fellas, the bass player, he, uh, I don't know who one of the Beatles, I don't know who it was Paul McCartney or, it was one of the, whoever, or George Ellison, it was all the leather jackets then. And um, he just popped up and he said to, to one of the Beatles, lend a jacket, lend a jacket. So he put this jacket on, the leather jacket. He was all ago at the time. And he said, just, he said, hang on, he said, watch this, watch this. And he walks onto the cabin, but with his back to the audience. So he couldn't recognise it. And nothing happens, because every time the Beatles walked on that stage, that place erupted. You all know, screaming and all. But nothing happened when this, one of our fellas, walked on the stage. And he, he sort of walked on backwards. Looked into the dressing room and he said, Get me out of here now! Get me off this stage! He was so embarrassed because nothing happened. He thought they were all going to scream. What were all you like at the side? Yeah. What were all you like? It was just a big laugh in them days. Mm. Nobody took anything really serious. No, no. And did you ever like cross paths with Jerry and the Pacemakers and Silverback and mm. um uh, Well nobody thought it was gonna explode the way it did. It just kind of happened. Yeah. And what was um because I've heard different stories, but what was the ideal for Maisie Beat Paper? What was it for? Like, a bit like a musical paper or something? What was it? From what I can gather it was uh it was just a, like a magazine, hmm. a newspaper with, with the latest news of what, what's happening with all the groups and who was playing where and what. But uh, I, I think, from far I can remember it, it was just another thing. No, nobody took it that serious. Just mates. Yeah, that's all we we'll just get on with it. But, uh, Oh, it'll never happen again, I don't think. No. Not the way it did with the Beatles, isn't it? The Beatles just couldn't go wrong whatsoever. They could do anything and get away with it. Yeah. Now, do you remember, what was Brian Epstein like? He was nice and... Very posh. Mm. Uh, not, but not outspoken as much, but uh, everyone looked up to him because he was, I don't know, what, what's the word? Helped you. Well, yeah, 
It was just us, it was all the groups. And um, as I say, they just got on with it and thought, well, yeah, great, okay, <laughs> get on with it. Yeah. But uh, looking back at it now, And this picture here of you using the cascades next to your car that you bought off Ringo, like, how did you end up buying it off Ringo? Because, I don't know how it started, but, um, as I say, we were mates at the time, and uh, I thought nothing of this car at all, because I used, used to go down to his house every day and have a laugh and, uh, and that's it. And this car was sitting at that far from his house. And uh, I don't know how it come about, but I just had to turn out to, to ring on and say, do you think I could borrow your car? I, I want to go so and so. Because he was just sitting there, he, he hardly used it. And uh, I was surprised when he said, yeah, go ahead. Help yourself. And that's how that started. And uh, then, uh, as far as I can remember, he, he hinted that he, would, he was trying to get shut of it. So, uh, I said, how much do you want for it? And he said something like 200 quid, which was a lot of money then. But uh, I went home and told my mum and dad, and I, I said, I'd, I'd love to get go to buy it, which meant give us some money so we can buy this car. <laughs> So, because I had those skids. Yeah. And uh, in the end, I said to him, you know, I'll buy it off you. So he said, okay, yeah. I said, how much? So he's, as far as I can remember, he said, well, oh, 200 quid. Uh, he didn't realise the amount of what it was worth. And that was how I bought the car off and went to me wrong with that. I said, I need to give me 200 quid for this, this car. And that, in the, at first they thought, what, well, you're joking, aren't you? But, uh, yeah, they bought it for me in the end. Because there's pictures of you holding the receipt, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Well, obviously, when six days Mercy P went, the guys that you were with in the cascade, when did you just all decide, like, okay, Mercy P's kind of not as around anymore? Mm. What made you change from Mercy P rock and roll to country? As far as I can remember, it was just one of those things that just happened. Um, I think possibly the, the other members turned around and said, we're just another group. We're not the only group that plays the captain. Mm. And uh, things just happened. Just happened, that, that was it, there was no big deal over it. Oh, what was it like playing when you were like with the king size Taylor in the dominoes? Nothing, nothing outstanding. Well, what was he like? He was alright. He, he, I think everyone looked up to him. Not only because of the size of him, <laughs> but. Uh, how popular he became. Mm. And uh, he sort of just got on with it in the end. 
Yeah. It was no big, wow, wow, you know what I mean? Yeah. None of that. Because when you were the foremost, you were originally the four J's. That's right. So what made you change from the J's to the most? I think the lead singer, he decided on the names. And uh, we sort of just, oh yeah, okay, yeah. We just, at the time, we just sort of just agreed with everything. Mm. Because we thought, wow, you know, what's going to happen next? But, uh, but good things did happen. Yeah, yeah there's some good things and some bad things, but... I think everyone sort of accepted the groups. Hmm. And they were, the Beatles, who was a horrible name or whatever. But uh, it wasn't like that at all, we just sort of got on with it. Hmm. And uh, sort of survived on it. And if you could, would you go back and live them days again? Well, it wouldn't be the same because at that at that time it was the sixties, and everything was all the groups and all everything was all raving away and thought, yeah, we're all having a good laugh here, get on with it, which we all did. But um, yeah, it was just never sort of. Went home, went to bed and couldn't sleep because of, you know, fame at last and all the rest of it. It wasn't, it wasn't like that at all. Because we, there was that many groups in the 60s that you saw they just got on with it and go, okay, yeah, there's another band, another band. Come on. Yeah, I wouldn't have missed it. I wouldn't have missed that. Well, even at the time, you, you don't you don't s sit down and go, what is it now? We're, we're famous and all the rest of it, isn't it? It wasn't like that at all. It was just go on with it. <laughs>